someone who grew up on MySpace and AOL chat rooms, I find it incredibly important to have regular conversations with my kids about internet safety. Let's dive a little deeper. Seriously though, the early 2000s were a wild time on the internet. The chat rooms, the social media, it wasn't just MySpace. We had Zanga and LiveJournal and vampire freaks, but also everything had a website. And my favorite website when I was a kid was Postopia. It was a serial website and they had a lot of fun games. Really enjoyed that. But I also got myself into a lot of sticky and unsafe situations and I saw a lot of things that I will never unsee. It still haunts me. And for all the things I think my parents did wrong, this one, I just don't think they knew any better. I was a kid with the world at my fingertips in a way they had never seen before and they didn't have the energy or time or interest to deep dive the internet like I was. But now I have kids and while I feel like I have a pretty good idea what's out there, kids today use the internet differently. So I have rules and boundaries based on my own knowledge and experience, but it's so important for me to keep communication open so I know what they're up to and can help them to stay safe. Anyway, back to the video. I have safety check-in conversations and I avoid lectures. Because I don't know about you, but if someone lectures me, they've got about three to five minutes tops before I'm not paying attention at all. My goal is to have short, engaging, and open conversation. In all honesty, we talk about internet safety almost every day. Briefly sometimes, deeply sometimes, but the point is to keep them interested and focused on what I'm saying. I say my piece, give them space to say what they feel or ask questions, and then I move on. Communication happens in conversation, not in a lecture. They have to be engaged for it to be meaningful. Yesterday, my daughter's playing Roblox as she does, so I went to check in like I do, and I see she's playing a game that uses the chat feature. So I said, oh, what are you talking about today? And she goes, well, I don't really read the main chat. I just read things from the people around me, and we're just doing a role play. I was like, cool, can I read it? I'd love to see the story you're coming up with. And she's like, sure. And so I'm reading it, making sure that everything checks out. Now, this is a great way to show interest in what she's doing and check in without setting off any alarms. I don't want her to be overly nervous or feel like she's doing something wrong, but I really need to know what's going on. There is a good chance she could miss some red flags. She is a whole child. But also, I really am interested in what she's doing. Like, she's super creative. I love the story she comes up with. And I asked her, do you ever see anything inappropriate? And she goes, no, I don't think so. I said, if you ever do, I want you to tell me about it so we can talk about it. You're never going to be in trouble for something someone else said. This is true. She won't get in trouble for what someone else said. And I'll never take your game away, but we need to be able to talk so I can help you stay safe. This is a half truth. She's not going to get her games taken away for something someone else is doing, but there are instances where she may lose games for a while. When I was a kid, I hid things from my mom because I was afraid of how she'd react, but you never have to be afraid of how I'll react. Yeah, this one's true too. She has no reason to be afraid of me. And she had questions about what kinds of things were inappropriate and why we're some people dangerous. Funny story, but not funny haha. -ha. Funny gotcha. You prove my point, kid. You see, one day my daughter and I were talking about internet safety, and the thing is she wasn't allowed to use any chat features on any game until like a year ago, if that. But so we were talking about how to navigate those spaces, and she said that she thinks Roblox is a great way to do this because only kids play it. And I was like, whoa, no, nope, that's not that's not true. That's not true. That's why we actually have to have these conversations. And she's like, well, what do you, what do you mean? It's, it's a kid's game and you play with kids. And I said, yep, yep. That's, that's one of the problems here is that you believe that. I said, I love you, darling. You are so sweet and smart, but there are bad people out there who are banking on the fact that you believe that they could be a kid. You see, anyone online could say that they're any person or any age, and that's the scary thing about it. I could make a fake account on Roblox and fool you into thinking I was a kid your age, and you would never know. That's why we have to be careful. Now, it is super nice and comforting to think that everyone we interact with online is a good person who means well, but it just isn't the truth. So we have to be careful, we have to be vigilant, and we have to keep ourselves safe. With any conversation I'm having with my kids about these things, I make sure to keep it age appropriate and provide enough detail so they understand the danger without scaring them. I answered her questions the best I could, and then we went over the types of information we never share online the whole conversation 
and took like five minutes. What are some of the first things we teach our kids about real life safety? You need to know your name, your age, your address, your phone number, mom and dad's names, etc. So one of the first things I teach my kids about online safety, one of the most simple things, is all of that information, keep it to yourself. We don't share that with anyone. Don't tell anyone what school you go to, what grade you're in, what color your hair is, what color your eyes are. Any personal, identifiable information, keep it to yourself. If you are talking to someone on a game, we are talking about the game. And if someone starts to ask personal questions, it's a red flag and you need to get a grown up. That's how we're gonna stay safe. Well, it's also important to know because I know some folks are gonna think I'm doing too much or I'm going overboard, but all of my kids are elementary aged, okay? So they are very new on the internet. They do not need full access online. They need boundaries. They need to be made aware of the dangers. And that is my job. And maybe I'm doing too much, but I would rather do too much and keep my kids safe than do too little and have something bad happen. When I was young, I made horrible decisions online because I didn't know better. So I keep having these conversations with my kids. I want them to be aware and careful of the decisions that they make. I trust them, but I gotta keep them safe. Now, of course, my kids are gonna make their own mistakes and learn from them, but why can't they learn from some of mine? I mean, technology is a part of life now. They're on computers at school. They're playing games on FaceTime with their friends. It is a part of life. That's fine, but I want them to be cautious and careful, and I'm gonna do everything I can to teach them how to protect themselves and stay safe. Anyway, thanks for being here, friends. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell. You know the drill. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.